now that we set up the integration, let's talk about how we are going to actually send the survey that we just created from Salesforce. All right. So as I mentioned, our goal today is to send MPS survey when a customer's lifecycle stage is changed in Salesforce. Um, so this way, we will make sure to constantly get the pulse of our customers and that constant stream of feedback is going on. Uh, but I, I would also like to embed the first question of my survey, my MPS question, inside the email. Uh, on the survey editor here, under the share tab, you can pick uh, first, you can pick which tool you'd like to send your survey with. In my case, this is Salesforce. Right. Oh. Okay, perfect. Uh, in my case, this is Salesforce. So, uh, and when you scroll down a little bit under launch e the email, uh, you can find the uh, code that you can use to embed the survey inside Salesforce. But before we do that, we need to add uh, dynamic variables, in other words, merge tags into our survey URL. So uh, these variables, these uh, merge tags, when they are sent from Salesforce, they will generate a unique link for your respondent, and these unique links essentially they help uh, you and they help us servicate recognize the details and identify the person who is answering the survey. Uh, this is also the way of passing information to servicate for further analysis from Salesforce. So, first thing that I want to do here is to identify my respondent, right? Who is the person that's actually answering the survey? For this, I need a unique identifier that will essentially help the integration to match this uh, person or the object with the response. Uh, this way, I will know who answered the survey and then I can get back to them and set up necessary automations and, you know, to close the feedback loop. So. Uh, since the one of the object relationships that I set up on the connect app previously was uh, with the contact object, I'm going to use a contact email field as an identifier. So let's go ahead and add that field. You can also use contact ID here, uh, email. All right. Uh, yeah, just, just but to be mindful here is that you need to set up a unique identifier for every object that you want to match uh with salesforce in salesforce right uh, maybe i mean probably you also remember another object that i set up in uh, connect up was also account object so i i need uh, now i also need another unique identifier to know uh, to understand which account to match the survey with for this i'm going to use account id account id perfect now, this setting here alone is enough to make the integration work. Uh, but I want to get, uh, however, when it comes to analyzing my responses in Servicate, I need to think of what other information that I would like to pass so that it will help uh, me analyze my survey results more effectively. Uh, so for my business, information I care about uh, could be, for example, uh, company size like what uh, I want to call uh, I want to see the differentiation between MPS coming from companies of different sizes so I can add that uh, in my survey URL to capture it from Salesforce let's say company size uh, another information I uh, I might be wondering from my cust but my uh, customers my accounts could be for example um, their subscription like I want to also compare the uh, MPS results with their subscription name and uh, with their subscription amount or things like that. So I'm also going to add this field here. And maybe I also want to see how different personas have different roles, uh, what, uh, like how MPS score look on these different roles. For that, I'm also going to add, for example, contact role. All right, now that I have my uh, survey uh, link and this merge tags added to my survey link, all I need to do is to capture this uh, embedded code because every uh, variable that you add, it also automatically adds to the code itself. Copy it from here. And now we are ready to share or survey from Salesforce and go uh, further on that. All right, so um, let's go ahead and uh, create our uh, MPS template first. 
so i'm going to ah okay maybe let me <laughs> maybe let me uh, quickly walk you through what we are going to do here so first we are going to uh, what we are going to do is automating the process of uh, sending the survey in salesforce so the goal here is to send the survey every time life cycle stage in uh, in my customer's profile is changed uh, using a similar method, of course, you can send the survey, for example, whenever a deal is won, whenever a ticket is closed, or you can also set up some time-based triggers uh, for sending the survey, let's say, every quarter. Um, and in my case, I have this lifecycle stage field as a field in Salesforce contact profile. Uh, so I will set up an automation every time uh, this field is changed. Uh, but we are going today we are going to use salesforce flow to do this but of course that you can use any different automation methods that salesforce offers like you can use apex you can use process builder or any, or any other uh, automation that is already available in salesforce all right so first let's go ahead and uh, build our template uh, template let's see email mm -hmm new template i'm going with a custom one without the letterhead um life cycle and yes template nickname next oh, wait let's make it away let's make it available for use all right next uh subject let's uh, say for the subject line maybe good so, all right. Uh, for the um, body, we just need to paste the code that we copied from Servicate, and that should be it. All right. So our uh, template is ready. Uh, now, because we are going to set up the automation in Flow, we also need to create our email alert already. So let's go ahead and do that. Email alerts. Let's create one from here. Um, send MPS survey when life cycle stages changed. Object. Uh, for this, as I said, I'm going to send the survey to my contact. So I'm going to use the contact object. But of course, you can use what object, uh, any other object that you want to send the survey. I'm going to just pick my email template. Uh, I know you don't see this, but <laughs> I cycle MPS. All right. Uh, and we are going to send the email to the contact email field. Oops, not new, but anyway. All right. So uh, now that we have our email alert ready, all we need to do is go ahead and set up uh, the flow. So let's go to flows. Um, new flow. All right, so we are going to be using a record triggered flow today. Flow builder object, again, my contact object. Uh, whenever a record is updated and the requirement for my uh, flow to trigger, this day should be, as I said, it's going to be the life cycle stage changing. So if the life cycle stage changes to, for example, onboarding, um, adoption, and finally renewal perfect and all the other settings are there and next i just need to insert this email alert that i uh, just created mps survey when a life cycle stage is changed um life cycle mps and for the id i'm just going to put in the report in the guide all right so uh now when i ah, one more time <laughs> all right all right so now when i set up my uh when i activate my flow if it did everything correctly my uh survey should be sent to the contact that i want to send it to